everybody, Hooded Cobra Commander 788 here, and this is a quick look at the Steel Brigade. I'm not quite ready to do a full review on this because there are some variations that I still need to get. I've got a few of them though, so um, this is just a quick look at them. The Steel Brigade, of course, was a mail away offer uh, starting in 1987 in which you could become a member of the G.I. Joe team and get your own action figure based on you. And if you sent away uh, for that mail away, offer, you would get a Steel Brigade action figure like this. Now the Steel Brigades only had one unique part. They had a unique head sculpt, this helmeted head here. Uh, all of the other parts were reused from other action figures, and they actually did quite a bit of part swapping uh, during the years that these were available. Uh, if you uh, got the first versions of Steel Brigade, you would get this one with the chest that came from Airborne. This is uh, reused from the Airborne action figure. Uh, then later, they changed the chest to the one that uh, came from Duke. This is Duke's chest, just recolored. Um, you would get a bag like this with the action figure in it. Um, they all came with a backpack uh, and a rifle uh, and this patch, uh, this Steel Brigade patch. That's a very unique accessory. Uh, some collectors consider the figure to be complete without the patch, but I kind of like to have the patch. Um, so, uh, Jojo.com lists five different versions of Steel Brigade. I only have three, so I'm still tracking down the other versions of Steel Brigade so I can do a proper review, but this is just a, a nice quick look at them. Uh, you can kind of see what they look like. Again, that's a reuse of Airborne and Duke's backpack. Uh, this rifle that I have on the first version of Steel Brigade uh, is not the correct rifle. This is an airborne rifle. Uh, the Steel Brigade rifle would have looked like this, but it was a slightly lighter gray plastic, so I will have to track down the correct accessory on that. Uh, but I'll do that before it's ready for a full review, and I'm, I'll be really excited to do that review. There's a lot I'd like to say about Steel Brigade. But that's a quick look at it, and I think that's all we'll do for right now. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to check out my other uh, videos and keep your eyes out for another full vintage G.I. Joe toy review. I'll see you later.